Since Cyberpunk 2077's release, the community has been plagued with various mysteries that seemingly remain unsolvable. Going even further back, players of the tabletop RPG series that acted as the predecessors to 2077 experienced this trend. Since the late 80s, fans of Cyberpunk share a world of mysteries we are left to piece together that hopefully form comprehensive stories to relay within the personally crafted campaigns of Game Masters. Today, we'll be taking a look at Mr. Blue Eyes and his possible identity cleverly hidden behind 2077 and even the tabletops before it. If you're interested in keeping up to date on Cyberpunk's lore, theories, and its future, I'd suggest subscribing and checking out my channel. Let's begin. So, I've previously covered Mr. Blue Eyes in some depth. Within the second half of my fifth corporate war, an AI invasion video, as well as the more recent Mr. Blue Eyes will say V. So before or after this video, those might provide some additional benefit to what I will be covering, though I will briefly cover as much as I can in this video as well. In the Dream On questline following Jefferson Perales, we initially encounter Mr. Blue Eyes during our final meetup. He can be found watching over the two of us on a nearby terrace. We can infer as well that Mr. Blue Eyes may even be the anonymous caller that previous to the meeting states that no matter what V tells to Jefferson, nothing will change. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell me. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. This all the more makes Blue Eyes' omnipotent presence much more threatening. It is possible to approach him during and after speaking with Perales, but he remains unfazed and incapable of being harmed. Something that is beyond the realm of possibility for the average NPC. His physical appearance at this meeting displays confidence and ability. Clearly, in world, he is incapable of being killed by someone like V in this scenario, feeling no need to conceal himself. Through Gary the Prophet, Sandra Dorset, the Cyberpunk Red Sourcebook, and even Johnny Silverhand's very own dialogue in-game, we learn more about the urban legends of blue-eyed people being controlled by rogue AI. The lore in Cyberpunk Red speaks of urban legends of blue-eyed people who are rogue AIs that have taken control of human bodies and are secretly manipulating the highest levels of politics and finance. Johnny Silverhand even promotes this idea through his dialogue after Dream On. And good night. So, thoughts? What would you do? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. Find out what the So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Another take on this idea is seen through Gary the Prophet, nearby Vic's clinic. He mentions how blue-eyed people live in space and come down to Earth to control politicians. During the quest The Prophet's Song, he guides V to what he believes to be a meeting site for the Lizardmen, though this turns out to be a meeting between Maelstrom members and two unidentified corpos. V is able to recover a data chip from this meeting that when decrypted presents to us that an unknown plan is set to be executed, going by the name Project Oracle. Further analysis in this name though, an oracle by definition is a person through whom a god is believed to speak, furthering the idea that rogue AI are controlling humans and acting through them. When V returns from the meeting, they learn from one of Gary's supporters that he's been abducted by black suited people with blue eyes, who took him into an AV and flew off to their mothership. During the quest full disclosure, we can closely associate what corporation Mr. Blue Eyes and the other corporal agents are under. An employee and netrunner of the Knight Corporation by the name Santa Dorset claims that they had conducted testing using an AI to condition its own employees. The AI was designed to control not just their workers, but other figures Knight Corp deem useful to them, which we can confirm is true by decrypting the shard we are encouraged to turn over. Because of the blue eyes and brainwashing connected between Full Disclosure and Dream On, we can infer that Mr. Blue Eyes and the corporate agents from the Prophet's Song 
are associated with Night Corp. Night Corp might initially be an unassuming corporation you probably haven't even heard of, seeing as its full attention is on Night City and its affairs, being considered one of the good corporations. It's the largest contractor of public procurements within the boundaries of a city, building and renovating facilities such as roads, bridges, tunnels, and more. Night Corp is also known for their charities designed to aid the poor children of Night City and scholarship programs to benefit gifted youth. Though mysteriously enough, Jefferson's education was funded by this program. This corporation was created by Richard Knight, the original founder of Night City itself, founding Night City and Knight Corporation. These discoveries lead me to what I believe could be our first possibility in identifying Mr. Blue Eyes. Mr. Blue Eyes is the elusive man from Mass Effect. Alright, it's pretty convincing, but I'm kidding. The first possibility is that he is of course Richard Knight. Well, not exactly in the flesh. Not even a soul-killed AI. While Richard Knight may have died back in 1998, I believe that's a possibility that Night Corp has utilized a form of naturalized digital personality construction to replicate Richard Knight's personality and being. In the early 2000s, this sort of tech was utilized by Biotechnica in their cloning. It was somewhat similar to Soul Killer, but not nearly as accurate or versatile. So it's not outside the realm of possibility that by 2077 or even before, that Night Corp became capable of producing these personality constructs and projecting them into these bodies. Hence the rumors of rogue AI inhibiting these bodies. They're actually personality constructed AI being projected into the bodies, resulting in a consistent data transfer and therefore the blue eyes. This theory presents that Mr. Blue Eyes is the reconstructed personality of Richard Knight who now looks to seek out control of Night City from the shadows once again, hence the brainwashing of political figures such as Perales to control the city. Though this theory only establishes the idea of who is controlling the body, rather than a rogue AI, it's of course Richard Knight. But what exactly could the body be, and what makes it stand out enough to be the protective husk of Richard Knight? Well, there's been a theory floated around that this body belongs to Morgan Blackhand. The Solo Solo in Night City Legend. Those familiar with the tabletop lore would be aware of his presence and leadership during the 2023 Arasaka bombing, under contract by Militech alongside Silverhand, Spider Murphy, Rogue, and many more. His disappearance after the nuke and his duel with Adam Smasher makes the situation all the more mysterious. He was one of the top solos despite his minimalist approach to cyberware and contended with the likes of full Borgs. So what could have happened? We know he is alive by the year of 2045 at the bare minimum, even possibly 2077, seeing as his whereabouts remain unconfirmed. Who else can I drink here? All on the menu. Except there's a spot missing. Morgan Blackhand, right? True. Morgan's yet to make up his mind if he's dead or still kicking. The reasoning behind this is that the cyberpunk creator Mike Pondsmith, on his official Reddit account, has on multiple occasions stated that Blackhand's story after the nuke is still being written, and what his appearance would equate to during 2045, in which he states 2040's Blackhand would look like George Clooney in The American, but with more cyberware. Redditor Ink Dagger apparently managed to load up unused character models of both 2023 and 2077 Blackhand, back closer to 2077's release. The primary crutch of this theory lies in the fact that the 2077 model, listed as Blackhand, looks extremely similar to Mr. Blue Eyes. It would also make sense that of all bodies that would be prioritized by night, Blackhands would be the most capable. I have some contempt for this theory though which might be a rather strong opinion, but I've chosen to avoid speaking on this idea in the past. The first of which being that this feels like such a belittling end to such a powerful character. While yes, he isn't necessarily dead, and happy endings aren't entirely normalized in the cyberpunk genre or 2077, Blackhand somehow landing in this spot at his strength level seems unlikely. Second of this, 
is that Mike Pondsmith purposely chose to not have Blackhand included in 2077's initial content or release. He wanted to maintain complete authority over Blackhand's story and character arc, meaning he didn't want to be restricted by what Blackhand might do in 2077 if he was included. So, opposite of this would be to have him end up controlled by an AI and held hostage within his own body. So the only way this could possibly be a scenario is that Pondsmith somehow greenlit this, which seems extremely unlikely, seeing as he stated otherwise. Third, these models don't match the appearance of 2023 or 2040's Black Hand. We know what both versions of him look like, and even have concept art created for 2077 that looks strikingly similar to what Black Hand is supposed to look like. Mr. Blue Eyes and the 2023 model are also missing the iconic black cyber arm. While it is possible to get cybernetics that are identical to flesh, it seems like an extremely odd decision if this were the case. It is extremely likely that while these models might have initially been meant for a Morgan Blackhand appearance, neither were completed and were likely recycled, a common occurrence within game development. While I buy into the idea that Mr. Blue Eyes could be Richard Knight projected into a new body, I couldn't possibly believe that the body is Blackhand himself. There's just too much conflict with this idea. However, I want to know all your personal thoughts down below. Do you think Mr. Blue Eyes is Richard Knight or some sort of rogue AI from beyond the Black Wall? Do you even perhaps have some compelling evidence as to why Blackhand may be the body after all? It'd be Nova to hear it all. Who knows? Maybe it's a clone of Black Hand's body after all. As always, thanks to all the channel members on screen. The consistent support and encouragement always motivates me to continue producing content to the best of my ability. I am truly appreciative to be able to share these videos with so many others. We've grown to over 5,000 subscribers now. I never thought this channel would even reach 500, so I am grateful to you all. I look forward to all your comments, and as always, have a great week, Chooms.